Hey guys, this is Dave from the Plymouth Sparky channel and today I'd like to uh, a truthful two week review. The new Speedy from Weir. Stay tuned. Resistance is futile. So Mike next door just uh, offered me a, a donut and I don't know about you but uh, bacon sandwiches and donuts if anyone ever mentions that to me <laughs> I struggle to refuse. His heavy sparky nose the amount of uh, endless screws we're doing up and I'm doing during the day this tool is going to be a time saver. This is a particularly good bit for the newer boards. This is the SLPZ2, rated up to 5.5 newton meters. The boards, as I say, you do the initial crack open and crack up yourself. But then, speed is away. Pretty much this is speeding up my daily task by let's say two to three times. Uh, so the amount of more work I can produce with this pays for itself really. So I've been using this speed E drive now for a couple of weeks. I'm really starting to like it. The battery does tend to last all day. You've got two batteries. And these, as you know, if you are uh, an on-site Sparky, are particularly handy when you're doing the back of cookers these days. Cooker installs or the back of a lot of terminal boxes. They're going to have a lot of these different hex keys. These are a handy kit to have. And you can buy these separately, by the way. I think they cost, for that set of hex, about 59 UK pounds. So that's an additional set. You can just get on the pod if you just fancy buying set one. And then you fancy set this uh, hex slim bit. So let's establish my overall uh, two week review of it. Is it a tool that I would use every day? Yes it is. Is it ergonomic, lightweight and time saving? Yes it is. Is it for electricians? Yeah. It's rated up to 1000 volts AC and uh, 15 100 volts DC, so therefore perfect for the domestic electrician and electrical contractor. Perfect for electrical installation condition reports. Things will open up the back of box boxes and switches, saves time, opens them up, be fully protected. Um, and perfect again for checking the termination on the screws of the consumer unit fuse board. With the additional torque adapters, you can be sure that your termination is up to the required torque settings required. The clutch assessment will just simply click around when you've reached the required torque setting. Here the click, that's now reached the two newton meters. So that clutch on that is not letting that screwdriver do any more. It's actually clicking out. It's two newton meters reached. Let's check that out with an actual uh, a torque set. Now this one's been set at two newton meters, hopefully you can see that, and let's just check that actually that is true. It is. Hear that click? That's a two newton meter set. So there you go, proves the torque settings on these are absolutely true. So perfect. The torque bits do what they do. It drives the uh, clutch so that the clutch ratchet inside will uh, recognize when it's up to its max and click out so i don't think you see that the screw is not actually tightening up anymore but this this uh bit is just spinning around because it's reached its two new meters so fantastic for doing this little um these sort of things and of course when you're doing an eicr one of the main things you're doing is making sure all, to, all the terminations are tight. Uh, the charger can be charged in a simple USB port that you can get a your 12 volt power socket in your van, which is handy. 
my overall review and two week review of it, it's, it's actually a good tool. Okay, what are the downsides to it? One, it's not magnetics, but you could solve that by putting it in your client magnetizer tool or, or near a magnet, as in when you need to. Two, it's, this is not an impact driver, so you're still gonna need your impact driver for driving screws into a two inch bit of 2B1. But what it is, is a really good, lightweight, versatile piece of kit. This is basically 13 screwdrivers in one here with all the bits I've got in set three. Uh, the batteries have been lasting me all day um, on a full charge. The charge is 75 minutes to get a full charge out of a battery. So the first test we're going to do is we're going to terminate a 13 amp double socket with a normal electrician screwdriver and the same test with a speedy to see what the difference is. Mm, firstly, a normal traditional screwdriver. Double over the end on this because it's just a spur. So the contact terminations are ever tidy fix. Can tug test. Into that socket. Just catch the screws, fixing screws. And the endless task of doing the sockets up. So would I buy one? Yes I would. 